most difficult feature I have felt Indian creators have struggled with for several years is how to conclude a film. Where some creators love their world and characters so much that they feel it is necessary to spend more than 2 hours and 30 minutes or more to fully flesh out the characters and the world they are set in, some creators absolutely lose their sense of direction with added characters, unnecessary subplots and too many songs, leading to an excruciatingly painful second half. Many movies, even in the past year or so, have had an underwhelming response from the masses because it had dragged second halves. There are some movies, however, which when I revisited, made me scratch my head in disbelief on how the creators thought this would be a justifiable or logical end to the grand scheme of events in the plot. Discussing just some of the most bizarre movie endings that I disagreed with wholeheartedly, here is Trident Refuse Productions, with five absurd Bollywood movie endings that audiences never wanted. Thugs of Hindustan One of the biggest colossal failures of last year was Thugs of Hindustan, a film that made Amir Khan doubt his own judgement and definitely became too big for its own shoes. When the core plot itself is so fickle, no matter how grand or opulent the idea may be, the emotional connection of the audience with the storyline and the characters gets completely lost. The most surprising feature of the film was that it was actually pitched as a franchise idea, as successful and recurring like the Doom franchise. This was made clear in the final scene, as the creators were so sure that the film is going to be a smash hit. Katrina Kaif's character, Suraya, basically appears and disappears in the film as the songs come and go, randomly appearing in the final scene too, on the stolen ship with Amir Khan and Mohammed Zishan Ayub's character, apparently to take back her jewels, and Firangi delivers the Gisa Pitta 90s regressive dialogue, saying, Aurat ka asli gehna to uski sharm hoti hai. When the question is asked on where they are headed, Suraya states that she needs to go to Kolkata. Badi bazaar se chunni leni hai humko. Firangi of course ignores that suggestion and states that they are heading to England, so the sequel would follow Firangi's escapades in England. It's safe to say though, that plot will never see the light of day. Chandni Chalk to China A guilty pleasure comedy close to 10 years ago was the Akshay Kumar and Dipka Padukone starer Chandni Chalk to China directed by Nikhil Advani. The film focused on a vegetable cutter from Chandni Chalk that finds himself after a series of unexplainable events in China, as an oppressed village believes that he is the reincarnation of one of their idols, an individual that protected them from all kinds of evil. Now fantasy and imagination aside, the movie was an over-the-top comedy that definitely had moments which were hilarious but tested your patience. On how long can you disassociate from reality? The creators of this movie also were extremely confident that the movie will be successful. That will lead to its sequel. The final scene as Sidhu has opened a vegetable stall in China with chopstick. He gets approached by an African tribe in possibly one of the most racist portrayals of an African tribe to help them too from the state of oppression. Imagine. These guys are the African tribe. Oh, by the way, there is another confession that Ranveer Shori's mother is African. Yes, that's believable, right? The sequel was to be called Chani Chok to Africa. I think we are glad that that did not develop into an actual movie. Shole. The most celebrated and classic Bollywood movie is the 1975 film Shole, directed by Ramesh Sippy, starring superstars Dharmendra, Amitabh Bachchan, and Hema Malini. A movie which made an unknown face like Amjad Khan a household name and provided all aspects of an out and out commercial Hindi movie romance, brotherhood, a menacing villain, and a classic revenge story angle. The unintentionally funny aspect of the film, which I got to know through Anupama Chopra's interview with The Quint, who has written a book titled Shole, The Making of a Classic, is that Ramesh Sippy had to change the ending of the legendary film due to the sensitive political climate in the country in 1975. The original ending of the film would provide closure to a character like Thakur, who finally gets revenge by killing Gabbar. But as such, lawless justice would not be palatable, especially a country under emergency at that time, Sippy was told to change the ending, where the police force, who were nowhere to be seen as such madness was taking place, come out of nowhere to take Gabbar and provide him a legal route of punishment. Definitely a creative angle that did not fit the storyline at all, but something the creators were forced to execute. Amdani Athani Kharcha Rupaiya A movie that is extremely regressive, especially if you see it in context to today, is Amdani Athani Kharcha Rupaiya. Yes, I agree that the film might be a guilty pleasure comedy for easy TV viewing, but there are so many social problems and its relaxed conclusion made me extremely uncomfortable. So this is the premise of the film. Three women are awestruck at the fact that in one household, the woman goes to the job and a man does the household chores. Upon even mentioning to their husbands that they want to do a job, by the way, these men are barely providing for a household to function, selling the wife's jewellery to get a TV or just spending on alcohol. This is their reaction. 
मेरे हिसाब से औरतों का कर्तव्य है घर को संभालना बच्चों को पालना और खाना बनाना और जब पति थका रहा घर वापस आए ना उसके लिए अच्छा अच्छा खाना बनाना अगर तेरी खोपड़ी में ब्रेन है ये ब्रेन वाली खोपड़ी नीचे घर If the constant abuse and regressiveness was not enough, you feel proud of the women when they find their ground with a new purpose and employment. But what do we get? The men who constantly ridiculed them, told them not to have dreams, and physically hurt them in front of their own kids. They go right back to them. Stockholm syndrome in relationships. के बारे में सुना है? When people go back to their abusers because they become so subjected to that behavior that this is their reality. हाँ. Huh. इसी को कॉमेडी बना दो पदम श्री लालू प्रसाद यादव वन ऑफ द वर्स्ट मूवीज शॉकिंगली क्रिएटेड बाय टैलेंटेड क्रिएटर लाइक महेश मंजरेकर नोन फॉर रेलेवेंट एंड इंपॉर्टेंट फिल्म्स लाइक वास्तव एंड अस्तित्व वाज़ द 2005 फिल्म टाइटल पदम श्री लालू प्रसाद यादव द मूवी इज सपोज टू बी अ फुल फ्लेजेड कंफ्यूजिंग कॉमेडी बट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट अनफनी हिंदी मूवीज आई एवर सीन अ बैंक रॉबरी एंड डिसीजन टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट द लूट लीडिंग टू सब प्लॉस दे विल डेफिनेटली गिव यू एन एनरिज्म अल्टीमेटली एज दे गो स्कॉट फ्री फ्रॉम जॉनी एंड यादव अ क्लब ओनर एंड Sidekick. They had to put in the most random scene possible. A cameo freaking appearance by none other than Lalu Prasad Yadav. Don't do that, sir. Did you see? No, no, no. No, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. If cringe could be defined in one scene ladies and gentlemen then it is definitely the conclusion of this 2005 film and that was the video guys write down in the comments below what you thought about the video and whether you have some video ideas for the channel please don't forget to follow me on Instagram the handles right in front of you follow me at jammy pants for also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead thank you for watching